everyone, I'm back at the same location. It's been a week since I was last here and in that week we've had quite a lot of rainfall so I thought now would be a good time to nip back, carried on, carry on with what I'm doing and also see how the river's flowing as well. Right, well, already I can see there's a good flow coming out of this culvert. Seems a bit slower on that side. I have to try and get to the other side of the road and see what's happening back there. It's a bit more litter but not a lot. Yeah, it's not bad and it's, it looks like it's still clear. I can see branches but it does look like it's clear. The other one just might get more flow. This is blocked. I didn't notice this last time. That's interesting. Okay, I might come back to that. <sighs> the water looks much better. Really considerably better. I think it's it's done it good for having a good flush through. And I can actually see the rubbish. That looks really good. Nice flow. I can't see to the other end of there though. This is a polystyrene. Or polystyrene all along there. All the white bits that you can see. This is going to be just a nightmare in a minefield for birds. I think this is just how it's going to be with this area, a bit of wind and you're going to have to come and do it all again. back for those. I'll come back for that. Let's have a look at the rest of the flow. Oh, it's looking very nice down here. This is where I dug those bags out of the ground. Some more rubbish come to the top. Oh look, it's flowing lovely through there. I haven't explored up here yet. It's a bit too dark for the camera to pick up. But it looks really healthy there. Okay. And then down here is where I unblocked on day two. Oh, as you can see, some more rubbish has been caught up over there. Can you see? That's where I cleared and more rubbish has got blown in or just been washed, washed there, I'm not sure. I'll go and grab that as well, keep it flowing. But this water has got great movement to it now and is looking a lot healthier. It still sort of looks a bit opaque it's not clear and I wonder if that's the water from the road I'm not sure could even be from upstream but we'll explore explore upstream at a later date you can see the water is coming through a lot better now um, this is the tyre from day two. You can see loads of rubbish has um, made its way here. Just, just um, guessing the rain's just exposed it all. That's all the polystyrene in there that's floating about. 
loads of this blue a bag or something that's ripped to bits. So I'm just going to do a quick litter pit round here. Just try and keep on top of this area because it's susceptible to blockages. And then we'll move downstream. Oh no, look! That's blocked up again. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to sort out around here again. <laughs> And then maybe we'll go downstream. Okay, a couple of the mushrooms are a bit happier now. So let's move on to that next blockage. the way and it's rolled back into the place again. one stick really. I had to make sure the, the litter was removed there as well. This is like plastic pollution happening right before your eyes and how it gets into the ocean. 
it's not good. Right, I finally made it. You won't believe how close this location is, but it's took me ages to get here because I've been litter picking. I was also asked by three kids on the way down if I was a litter picker or a pedo. And I'm hoping that my bag of rubbish supported my answer, um, which was a litter picker, just to be totally clear there. But I am going to go home and reassess my appearance because that is quite concerning that they were my two options. So, anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, we got up to here last time and it doesn't look too bad. I picked up some little bits of litter. Uh, it's, there's a little bit there, but it's not too bad. Um, there is some of this stuff here, which I'll move. Um, and I think I saw a bit of a blockage downstream. It looks like a load of sticks, branches. Um, so we'll see how far we can get. I'm just aware that it's getting late and the sun's going down. So we'll see how far we get today. Incredible mushroom. I'm gonna to have to show you. Look, I've never seen one like this before. Not bright red and kind of dripping or well, it looks like it might be about to drip I'm not sure I thought that was interesting that is probably the third type of mushroom I've seen today nature will find a way it's already proven it in this area growing over plastic bags it's not great for wildlife, but actual trees and soil will come through. It's us that will suffer when we've got no land to eat on. And it's all full of landfill and polluted water. All right, let's head down there then. All right, doesn't look quite as bad a blockage as it did from downstream load of litter wrapped up in there so I'll grab that um, this just looks like a fallen branch maybe rubbish in there oh, I'll grab that in a minute oh, I'll grab it now yuck yuck yuck, yuck. bit of a blockage there some rubbish in rubbish and then I'm not too worried about this wood because fish live in trees and the wood is good for the water um, so I'm not too worried about that I, I might move some of the smaller ones 
and then downstream where I've not ventured yet. Let's have a quick look around that corner. It's a good form, really good form. More mushrooms. We're up to four now, four different types. Oh, that looks so. Oh. Man made section is what I was going to say before I was distracted there. Would you look at this? Oh, it stinks. I wonder what comes out of here then. I can't see very much. I'll have to record this. And another, I think this is probably a land drain. It looks pretty clear. Because um, there's fields over that way. Oh, I've got a bridge. Oh, well. Okay, let's follow it round. Gabians, ugh, strangled by a cobweb. Ooh. Something snapped over there. And a um, bizarre pipe going across it. They like their bizarre pipes. Great, well, it's not too bad down here. There's some rubbish up on that bank, but generally not too bad. Okay. We'll just see to that blockage then. See all the r rubbish caught when in the flood. When it floods, let's get that polystyrene while we're here. If we can, without breaking it. Oh, great. Yeah, not, not too bad down this way. Probably, um, all the water probably gets, sorry, all the rubbish probably gets caught in that pool that we were in on day three. Oh, <laughs> I just kicked it and it basically collapsed. So that's not gonna take too much doing. Okay, I'll set up the camera and uh, we'll make a start. is rather than I'm gonna I'm gonna move the wood so it's less blockagey but I might try and position it in a way that it's still in the water um, and it can accentuate that meander there that is trying to form and help sort of create a habitat for fish um, I've not done this before so um, I'm just, it's just guesswork let's have a go
do is I'm going to follow. We've got a bit of a gravel sidebar forming there, which is good. We still want that to form because there's like lots of like I think they're like aquatic insects sort of live in there, so that's good. And you're on a you're on a gravel bar right now as well, so it's it's going to mirror. Us. I think this is yeah. So um, if I can sort of make the wood follow the sidebar but still allow the sediment to, to sit on it. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's have a go and I'll come back and monitor it regularly. And this will also do um, like slow the flow as well perhaps so um, I think I mentioned this in a previous video when the when it's really heavy water it rains sorry and we're at risk of flooding <coughs> we need to try and slow the flow so you don't want a nice clean passage you want stuff in there to slow it down um, so so wood kind of helps with that and like not a dam as such, you need the water to be able to pass through at its normal level but when the water rises, if you've got a bit of a, a dam there that'll help sort of um, slow the water down maybe I could do one across there on that big rock So what I've tried to create there is a bit of a leaky dam. Obviously it won't hold back loads of water. You know, I haven't got data and stuff to follow, so I don't want to go too extreme. But we'll see how we've kept some water, some wood in the water. the water to go over the gravel bar as well at high tide so high tide you know what I mean um, but I think that's okay and I'll just have to keep an eye on it it's going to collect loads of rubbish in that um, but everywhere it is right now so um, it doesn't really matter too much
Um, okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, and then we'll explore uh, further along past the bridge that we saw um, and see what's down that way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.